So we're here at the SID Display Week, and who are you? Hi, I'm Ron Mertens from OLED Info. So, uh, so you do OLED Info? Yeah, it's, uh, OLED Info is a web publication focused on OLED technologies. Um, we've been doing it for OLED. For OLED, yeah. For all and kinds of OLED. All kinds of OLED lighting and displays, but it's mostly about displays these days. It's a much larger industry. So, so how long have you been doing this website or are different websites? You, you're doing different ones, right? Yeah, we have actually nine websites, not just displays, but mostly displays. It's in, one on OLEDs, one on ink, one on micro micro LEDs, which is a new technology, still not on the market mostly. Um, we've been doing it since 2004, so it's 18 year, 14 years now. Started, nice. Yeah, it started as rather slow, but now it's growing up. We're the leading OLED publication online today. And on top of that, we offer all sorts of services to the industry, like business development, market reports, market insights, and consultation, display brokerage, all sorts of things. It's all about OLEDs. So you like the display experts? Uh, that's what they say, yeah. And you're not alone, right? Uh, now I have my partner, Ronnie, she's doing this with me. Uh, how long have you been working? Together for four years. Four years? Yeah. And uh, um, so wh how many things do you publish or how often, what do you, like, uh, is it when there's news or? Uh, so we publish when there's news, obviously, but we also do stuff of our own, like interviews or stories behind the scenes, stuff like this in the industry. We, it's about 50 or 60 stories or articles per month, something like that. Depends on the month. Now from SID, we're going to come back with dozens of stories. And Are you going to interview people. like the inventor of all that? Do you, you already uh, do the interviews <laughs> and all that stuff? Uh, all these guys? Yeah, I just met him and yeah. What does he uh, think about your website? Uh, he said he's visiting it every other day or something like that. So This is the cool, cool thing about the yeah. SID Display Week, right? Yeah, SID all these guys are like inventors. It's the inventors, the guys that make the technology, the guys that sell it. Um, we're coming here, um, usually try to come once every two years. We're coming from Israel, it's a long flight, 16 hours flight. 16 um, is fine, it's just four movies, right? It's four, <laughs> it's four movies and a lot of... Is there a direct Jeffrey. flight? No. It's a direct flight, yeah. Coming With what? Direct. What airline? With Elal. We came this time, Elal. and United right. the last time. And nice. it's actually, it's been great flights. And we love SID, it's a great show, we meet everybody here. Everybody who has anything in display is coming to SID, so it's a great chance to meet everybody, to see all the prototypes and new technologies. So what's your background? Uh, did you work with, did you study displays or? No, actually I studied software engineering and I did that for a while and I learned about these kind of displays in, when I was in the Israeli army in weapons development. And then I somehow stumbled into this industry. And so how does display work? How do they work? This it's like uh, for me, it's just like magic. It is magic, <laughs> and it, it actually, is, and uh, but it works. Yeah, actually, LCDs are very complicated. It's like you have to use a backlight, and then you filter out the light, and you have polarizers and color filters, and something like eight That's layers. That's LCD, in right? That's LCD, and OLEDs are really much more simple. It's just a sort of material that you put current into it, like electricity. You drive electricity through it, and it, it emits light. So you use green, blue, and red. All the meters, and you have your display. So it's much simpler in theory. Uh, in real life, it's much more complicated to actually produce and to have it l last long enough to be a real display. So it's a challenge, but today you see all it's everywhere you know, smartphones, TVs, VR, wearables. Everything. It's just a sort of material. Yeah. It sounds like magic also. The light emitting. And it's organic. It's organic, yeah. It's organic. So it's like uh, what? It's like alive? What does that mean, <laughs> organic? It means it's an organic compound which contains carbon, unlike inorganic LEDs which do not, which are used for lighting. The usual LEDs we know about. So it's not organic carbon. like organic food, it's an organic chemistry. Is it re recyclable or that's the, that's a whole different question? Uh, it's a different question, yeah. And I mean, the, but, uh, so what's the, like, kind of like the industry, the analyst angle on this? Is it going to take over the LCD or never? It's going to take over, it's going to take a take while. Take over what? take over the LCD. The whole LCD market? I don't know if the whole LCD, because LCD has a huge capacity today and it's still going to make, you know, still going to see LCDs for a long time, even though they're converting some of the fabs to OLEDs. But OLEDs are, you know, they look better, they are thinner, they can be flexible and foldable and rollable and transparent. So OLEDs are slowly taking over. You see them in mobile phones today, like I said, almost all VR headsets, in TVs today, starting out. We're gonna have see we're gonna have OLED lighting in the future also, which is really beautiful panels that emit light in a very uniform and diffused way. It's great. Um, so yes, it's looking good for OLEDs, and there's also other technologies that we cover, like I said, ink, which is electronic paper. You see this in the Kindle, 
um, in electronic shelf labels and all sorts of nice new technologies, which is really power efficient and completely readable in sunlight. So that's ink and all sorts of e paper. And the next generation technology is perhaps micro LEDs, which are really small LEDs that you can use to make a display that's similar to OLED. It's also you have micro LED info? I have micro LED info. So, to visit it. so uh, micro LED is going to replace OLED then, or what? Uh, it could, it could maybe. It's still too early to say. I would say it's going to take three or five years until we see these kinds of displays on the market. But we have Apple and uh, Oculus, Facebook, and Google. Everybody's search, researching micro LEDs. So it looks promising, but it's very early. It's you know the display industry. It's always. You have this current technology, you have the next generation one, and you already have the next next generation one. You know, it's a huge industry with a lot of money and a lot of players. Everybody is, you know, into this market. The display is an important part of any device <laughs> today. So it's awesome to work with displays, right? In the, yeah, this I industry. Love it. yeah. Because it's beautiful stuff to look at, right? Yeah. It's and uh, fun. It's and you, you can feel it in your fingers, you know. I was in software before, so it's not the same. It's not as... Software is just a theory or something. Yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I mean, it's not theory. Okay, not, not quite. Theory. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's not as exciting as this place, yeah. yeah. So, um, much more is going to be happening in the future. Do you do videos? Yeah, we do some videos, yeah. And what no, kind no, of videos no. do you do? Yeah, we do, we show prototypes, we sometimes do reviews of new technologies. We're going to have a lot of videos coming out of SAD. You're going to see prototypes and samples and even real displays. I'm sure it's going to be really good. Um, OLED TVs in there from LG. We've Have you been, been to Korea? I haven't been to Korea yet. Haven't no, been yet, right? Yet. But you go to some other places, events? Uh, uh, yeah, last year we've been to Japan and China. Um, actually, the entire, I mean, I would say almost all the display industry itself is in Asia today, mostly China and Korea. So Does China want to have everything in their country? Uh, they want to yeah. do everything, right? Yeah, they're already doing everything, almost. But uh, only LG knows how to make OLED TVs. Yeah, currently. Nobody else, true. right? Yeah. I mean, everybody's buying from LG. Everybody's buying from LG. Sony, Panasonic, LG Electronics. Not Samsung. Not Samsung. No. Samsung don't want to buy their. No. What is Samsung <laughs> doing? They're just waiting and trying to do micro LED instead. Yeah, they're doing micro LED. They're starting to sell these huge TVs, but these are going to be something like three hundred thousand dollar TVs. So it's not going to. I'm not guessing. You know, you're not going to see it in your living room quite soon. But they're doing hybrid quantum dots. OLED research now that we may see in a couple of years, maybe reaching the market. So they're going to come back to OLED, hopefully, Samsung. But the quantum dot, the whole quantum dot area, is not just going to replace OLED because it's 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 pulling the LCD up to supposedly the same quality or something, right? Uh, that's up to you. I mean, I'm on, I'm on the OLED camp, so I'm not a huge quantum dot fan. Uh, but yeah, it's a great technology and it's being adopted in TVs and also other displays. Um, but I think it's more like an intermediate technology. In the long run, we're going to see quantum dots, actual quantum dot displays, and not quantum dot enhanced LCD displays, which is what we see today. So QD LEDs could be the future. We talked about micro LEDs, so it could be also QD LEDs. Uh, many technologies, you know, all fighting each other for the same. And how about the, this kind of like competitors the e-ink? Are you covering those too? Yeah, we're covering the clear all, ink. Yeah, we're covering all e-paper. Technologies. Uh, I'm looking forward to see the, cl the clearing, prod um, not prototypes. It'd be so nice to see the final ones. Yeah, it's being commercialized yeah. now. Um, cool. Like that, yeah.